Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. I am the RNG Genius, but you may call me Eric and in the last episode, well in the last couple of episodes we've been trying and trying and trying and trying against the dealer. It's not been working out too well for me. It's not been working out too well for me. So I stopped the recording session at that point and now I've got to get back into it. We're going to play on endless mode. We're going to see how far we can come. I mean, we literally have all the cards on the board, anything could happen. We could make it to floor 20, but we could also die on the second one, because if, you know, me doing stupid stuff. I have made my wager. I'll also make my deal. You have questions, and I will provide answers. Hi. Oh, that is why you came here, is it not? Really? Is that what you're going to do? I start out with Lizard Eater and Explorer's Helmet, huh? Oh. Noble Trader. A nobleman passes you on the road in the town of Stegall, but casts little more than a glance at you. Angry Guildmaster. As you travel the dark streets of Stegall one night, a nobleman atop a mighty steed nearly knocks you down. Humbly apologize, not happening. Steal from him. Steal all that he has to offer. A choice. Select your desire. Yeah, that was uh, not particularly great. While reaching for a low-hanging coin purse, your hand becomes entangled in the reins. You're dragged along underneath the horse for some time. The dealer draws you three pain cards. How unpleasant. Yeah, I lose three gold from being dragged behind the horse. If that's okay. Oh man, it's horrible. Now I've got horse phobia for the rest of my lifetime. Oh no, that's unfortunate with my explorer's helmet. Field of poppies. You wander among a field of poppies. Too late you realize that the poppies are making you sleepy. We have Ambertown Hero in there too. Oh, they gave me the gold bonus because we revealed all of them. That's so good. That's so good! So I can get a double gold bonus. If I want to, and with Lizard Eater I might want to. Ambertown Hero. You come across an injured adventurer whose badgered and bloodied armor tells you he's seen combat recently. Ask him his troubles. I've been chasing a pack of thieves that attacked my home village of Ambertown. I killed some of them in an ambush, but I fear I lack the strength to chase the rest down. If you have any honor, you will find those jackals and make them pay. Let's find those jackals and make them pay. Noble trader doesn't cast more than a glance at me. I know. Let's get some rewards. <clears throat> Ambertown hero. Food, I think. Yeah, I've got the lizard eater trait though. You have caught up with the Ambertown village raiders who call out, Stay your hand, adventurers, and we'll share the spoils with you. That sounded really awkward because I've got something stuck in my throat. <clears> throat> Unfortunate. Refuse to deal with a thieving scum. You tell them to ask their gods for more mercy than you are about to show them. The dealer draws you one monster card. Oh no, not two of dust. Okay. What I'm, what I'm uh, trying to do for combat here is be more passive, be more reactive. Not be, like, aggression just gets you in a situation where you can't dodge from an attack anymore. If I'm passive, the fight takes much longer. Some fights will take much longer, but I'll also ideally take less damage. That's, uh, that's, that's not good. <clears throat> I'm still playing this in 60 FPS, which might not be the best idea I've ever had in my ow in my life. Okay, I think we have to go back to to 30. I don't know how my computer handled the 60 FPS in that one episode that it went well in, but well, I just restarted my computer and I was hoping for that to optimize the. Um, a resource management of it, but nope, didn't do it. You carefully turn out the thieves' pockets. The dealer draws you two gain cards. Gain 40 gold. Sure gain 15 gold. I am swimming in currency right now. 
another 20 gold from the explorer's helmet so i've got 40 gold from that so far and next time it'll reveal the exit cave mouth the next step of your journey takes you from a cave out to the feet of an imposing forest. You've discovered the exit to this area. Exit. You take stock of your provisions and go to continue your journey. You feel a chill in your soul as you sense the powers of darkness growing ever stronger. Give me lizards though. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Trap lurking in the shadows. Draw one curse. No. Another curse on the table. Let us see how you deal with it. No. As long as you play and, and no priest you will continue to draw closer <clears throat> to a resolution. Very few have come close to unraveling the game, mind you. And none have succeeded. None have succeeded. If only you had a me. Can you, do you ever stop talking? Because, you know, it's not looking too hard right now. I know, there's nothing going on with me here right now. Why is Kasperkis, why are you doing shit? You're not supposed to start random tasks. I'm, I'm looking at my task manager again. Because apparently this needs some optimization. I know I've done this a lot in the, in the recent past, I know. I know. It's perfectly valid. Your complaints, perfectly valid, but still I'm not listening, not listening. Ratman hunting. You stumble upon a ratman hunting party. Prepare to defend yourself. The dealer draws you two monster cards. <clears throat> Be more passive, Eric. There's a ton of traps here. Oh, it was not in range. How do you... I push that projectile back and you still start shooting here. Okay. Just a little more passive. I don't have to push in the right direction here. Although it does help. Ow, oh, that's not blockable. Are you serious? Are you serious? Usually when you get... Oh. Usually when you're able to parry the thing, he stops shooting. Usually. Oh. Was not passive, was it? No. Okay, range shooter's done. was pretty good. Is that rat down? Okay, we have to get out of here. <clears throat> That's unfriggin' real. Okay, I'll get over here. Maybe cause a couple of trap activations. That's a stinking corpse. And I got rotted. Awesome. Well, ten radmen. Oh! Ten radmen are tough to deal with. Can I get over here? I can't get on top of those stairs. They're all almo almost dead, though. Is that the last one? Yeah. Heesh. This might already be over, though. If I don't get my hands on food, I will die. You recover some food from the rat carcasses. Gain one food. Well, the, the draw one food gain card. That's not... Oh. Oh. Gain ten food. That's different than one. Greenboro Forest. 
More and more portals are opening up across the land and hell beasts are appearing with greater frequency. I've never seen hell beast. Like, I literally, in, within the last 30 episodes, I have maybe seen one hell beast fight. These portals seem to appear more often around the Green Barrow Forest. Search the forest for clues. I have the sta starting weapon, so I might get some gain cards, but nothing else. During your search, you discover some bags lost or left behind by traders and travelers. The dealer get, draws you two gain cards. Gain 13 gold. Gain 30 gold. Yeah, let's try to chop that, but it's too, too sturdy, those vines. I wish I had vines like that. Maze of traps. Yeah, that's... No! Misclick! You boldly enter the vault! No! Oh, is there a dude? There's a dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, how am I supposed to get gold in this situation? Look at that, there's a lot of gold lying around back there, but you know... Let's try. Nope. Can't. Can't even. Did I take damage? I hope not. Also, camera? Oh, that's awesome. I got two, two pieces of gold. That's fine. Completely valid. Come on, shoot your thing. Thanks. I think you can gain equipment here, too. I have to get out. Just not that way! Okay, fair enough, I live. Yep, that's damage. Oh, double damage taken. I'm not great. Where's the... Stop fire... Oh. That's a, that's a little dumb. Okay, that didn't explode. That's my... Oh, there's a tr triple trap there. That's the chest! The chest is behind that meat grinder! I could gain a piece of equipment there, but I will die in the process. I won't. Those meat grinders are the toughest thing to get around, and that one is one of the worst, because the camera does not show you where you are. If I could control the camera, I would line it up directly on top of my head, looking up, looking down at my character. That would make it very easy, or very much easier, to control my character, and it would still be hard enough. But if there's a friggin' wall blocking your vision, and you're supposed to dodge a trap that you can't even see, well, sucks to be you. I guess now you get to feel how a blind person feels. You exit the vault and continue your journey. I got... <laughs> the worst is I gained gold there. Heroes remains. I can get blessings. You pass a funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the deceased was a well-loved figure. You're approached by the cleric. This great hero fell defending our beloved town of Wondermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Will you do this, traveler? Take the hero's belongings. I wish that step had been before the, the, the Green Barrow Forests. Thank you. This will mean the world to his family. The world, the town would have revolted had these artifacts not been returned. It's not far to the hero's hometown. Look for the town cleric when you get there. Viking Blade. I'll equip that bad boy. Pain, I'll equip that bad boy. Not that it does anything. And Harry, it's not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by delaying their proper rights. Heavy burden. Little pleases me more than watching your attempt to wriggle away from bad luck. Nice! That earns me another 20 gold just like I thought! I love the hero's helm! It is so good! It's just so good. Oh, it's dope. The explorer's helmet is what I meant. 
Every time you uncover all of the encounter cards, you gain 20 gold, and every time one gets shuffled around again, like, imagine if the last one would have been that Minotaur quest all the time. You gain 80 gold just for walking back and forth here. That's worth. Heroes return. You reach Wandermere, hometown... <laughs> you reach Wandermere, hometown of the dead adventurer. The town cleric meets you at the gate. He appears to have been standing vigil. Return the hero's sword. Thank you. This blade will once again be wielded in righteous fury, but not by you. Do you also have his shield? What will you do? Yes, return the hero's shield. Truly, you've done the Almighty's work in returning his shield. Thank you. Blessed are we who protected can fell those who trespass against us. Here's one apple. For your troubles. Hope it helps. Ferry boat. The ferry will carry you to your next adventure. You have discovered the exit to this area. Catch the ferry. You take stock of your provisions and go to continue your journey. Give me a good shop. I have 260 gold. You feel a chill in your soul as you sense the powers of darkness growing ever stronger. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Traps grow deadlier. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm glad I didn't have to go through the maze of traps. <gasps> That's a jeweler. That's a jeweler. That's sea voyage. Oh, nice. Persist, we will continue to draw closer to a resolution. Very few have come close to unraveling the game, mind you. And none have succeeded. I have two curses and one blessing. Uh-oh. In an old abandoned graveyard, the restless spirits sent the presence of a blessed soul and remain quiet. You spend a peaceful night, awakening well rested and fully recovered from your wounds. That is so good. Giant Eagle. As you're walking one day, a large shadow passes over you. Looking up, you see a giant eagle swooping down towards you. Hide. I've never hid from the giant eagle. The massive bird swoops down and grasps you in his claws. Together you soar up into the sky. The great bird carries you over the deserts and you see that the body of the bandit queen has already vanished beneath the sands. The wind whips furiously past you as the eagle continues to climb higher. Struggle to get free. Nah, wait until it gets tired. Huge success. You open its beak and it has a gem. With a piercing cry, the bird flings you into the empty air. You bounce off the roof of a village church and fall painfully to the ground, startling a group of monks. The dealer draws you two pain cards. Lose one food. Lose one equipment. No, my medium armor, man. Winding trail. Suddenly, tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you two monster cards. Well, guess it wasn't enough. To have been bounced off the... Sh uh, no! No! No, you can't! No! 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 No, my 270 gold! No! I'm not really crying, but still that sucks. Wow. Wow, think about the losses. Well, oh man. I would have stacked up on basically all the rings in the game, oh, but I didn't get the chance. Man, this run could have gone so out of control. We could have stacked up the Defender's ring and bought a bunch of shit. And this is how it goes. Oh, I need alcohol in my life, but I'm an anti-alcoholic. Why do I not drink alcohol? Uh, 
Well, I guess those bandits are now gonna be, you know, landlords. Well, it's, it's just I didn't mean to go in that direction. Oh, fair enough. Ghost of the Sea is not what I wanted either. But the Wandering Minstrels double bless me. Well, not so late. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Trap in the shadows, lose three gold. Well, well. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Is he too cowardly? Nope, he's not. You are safe. Few hands hold holds. I actually didn't read that out properly. You carefully make your way down the side of the rocky cliff as you approach the bottom. Your hands slip and you fall ungracefully to the ground. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one equipment. The game's not able to make this up for me. Mortal Whimsy. This weapon randomly takes the properties of a different weapon each combat. Yeah, that's not disturbing at all. <laughs> I'm glad I got a weapon now. I have to give it away. The Lizard Dome. One night, you are captured by lizardmen and brought before their king. You are stripped of your equipment and must choose an opponent to fight in the underground arena. Really? You prepare yourself for battle. I guess that's a thing. This map? This map, though! Wow! I can just draw them through fire over and over again. I would like to split up their resources, but, you know... Oh, that's enough. Knocked him, his ass to the floor. He's already, already wi wiggling in pain. Nope, I can't block anything, so... That sucks to be you. I've got the... I have the biggest map possible. And, um... Yeah, I really love this map. It's a really good map. His friend is just waiting down there. That's it? That was easy. That was real easy. Look at my muscles, though. Boy. If I didn't think about all that gold I just lost, I would almost be in a good mood. The Lizard King returns and grants you a reward before returning your equipment. The dealer draws you four gain cards. Draw three, choose or to discard or put back on top. Good lord. Fate's Folly. Enormous Shield Chains of Rage. I dislike those. Gain 15 health. If you gain health, then I work hard. Five gold. Eh. Five food. That's good. You're taken back to the surface and set free. Food Wagon. You come across a broken down wagon laden with food, its owner nowhere in sight. Call out and offer help. Oh, thank God you're here! A merchant leaps out of the bushes. Some bandits attacked my cart and I hid in the trees. Please accept this food as thanks. Do you gain some food? The dealer draws you one food gain card. Eh. Just that one step, I wish I didn't have, co have cowardice. Tavern wager. You find yourself in a seedy old tavern, spinning tales of your adventures to a group of drunks. A bearded old soldier scoffs at your tales and challenges you to an arm wrestle. Well, I guess I do have 20 gold, so I might as well ra wager. Really? What kind of soldier is this? You lose. The crowd jeers you out on your way out. Stranger in the shadows. Well, I guess you can have some of my health. What? What happened there? He took 10 health. I got gold. That's odd. Ladder escape. To continue forwards, you must first descend down a ladder and into the unknown. You have discovered the exit to this area. Climb the ladder. Before you can descend the ladder, you're attacked. Man, that's two food gain. That's nice. First two food gain from Lizard Eater. 
If I beat this, and this is a trapped encounter. I really dislike this map too. I have Mortal Whimsy that's Undead Bane or Life Slim? Life Slim. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, what? Where'd that come from? Like I said, I really dislike this map. Actually, there's less traps, but there's also, you know, ca oh, didn't even have an indicator on it. Bomber, there's an indicator. Yep, stand inside of those. Oh, what the friggin' A. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I thought that lizard was gonna die there. Well, that didn't come as a surprise. Good lord, I lost all will to live after that guy took 270 gold away from me. In the blink of, uh, in the blink of an eye, it was just gone. Jesus. Oh, 270 gold and a traveling jeweler on the map. Wow. On average, a ring is like 30 gold. There's cheaper rings and there is the guild mas no the master's ring that gives you plus one gold per encounter per ring. And I would have bought Nope, on average, since thirty since I said it, every ring costs like thirty-three, I would have been able to buy nine rings. Nine rings. That would have been dope. I would have been so happy. Would have been so great. I had would have had so much health regeneration, everything. But no, alas, I got cowardice, which is a really horrible curse. And um, due to that, you know, we're at this point. That was not a good score. That was really bad. Also, that I hate that music. I hate that 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 soundscape. The the strange noise there. Hmm. It's not a good start to a recording session, I might add. It's not good for motivation at all. And <laughs> that's the only thing I really need, motivation for this. Because it's just kicking the teeth every time. The last five runs have been really painful. Like, really painful. And I'm not happy about it. But, alas, I'll try again. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you then. Bye-bye.